The life of the Nigerian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Justice George Adeshola Ogontade, is one wrapped with distinction and significant achievements. Justice Oguntade is an accomplished Supreme Court judge and a respected diplomat who is celebrated amongst many as a man of impeccable character and integrity, highly respected in Nigeria and around the world. And so, it's no surprise to see dignitaries come all the way from Nigeria and other parts of the world to join him and his family in London as he joins the noble club of the octogenarians. Birthdays comes once in a year, and for those who are opportune to see another year, they mark it however way they want. For the Nigerian High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Justice George Okuntade, the attainment of his 80th birthday was another opportunity for him to thank God. And he chose to begin the day with a special service right here at Hilton Park Lane, Mayfair, London. of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be of any virtue, or if there be of any praise, think of these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Lord. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink. Nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into banks. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit into his statue? And why take ye, ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, in all his glory, was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe, clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or, Wherewith are? shall we be closed. For after all these things, do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly Father, knowest that ye have need of all these things. 
But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall, he be, shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for this tomorrow, for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Real estate guru Saolu Okewo, who is a good friend of the celebrant, was on the keyboard showing a great mastery of notes and tones to render a special number for the celebrant and for the listening pleasure of other guests. human nature to have worries and to be worried but as believers in Christ we are supposed to have a new nature a supernatural nature to look at the storm and to smile the cause of worry we worry about food, clothing, health, and the future. However, psychologists have taught us some very important lesson about the need not to worry. We are told that 40% of what we worry about never happen. 40 never happen. 30% has already happened. And we are told that 12% is unfounded criticism from others. And 10% is our health. So we are left with 8%. The last 8% is the actual problem we have to do something about. And that means 92% of worry is unnecessary. God wants the best for his children. And in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10, we read, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. How important are we if God knows even the hairs on our head? That is what Jesus tells us. The hairs on our head, God knows how many they are. This shows what value we have to our Father as a result of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It was indeed a day of praise for the celebrant and everyone else who came to celebrate with him. Prayers offered, and then it was immediately followed by the birthday song. We pray, Lord, that you 
Bless and sanctify this oil in the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, Amen. Amen. The religious part of the celebration concludes and then the social part begins with a cocktail. At the reception, more guests joined, and soon the celebrant arrives in company of his wife, Mutukbe. Notable dignitaries, friends and associates of the celebrant came to be a part of the celebration and they include the Governor of Ogun State, Mr. Dakwa Abiodun and wife Bamidele, industrialist Alhaji Razak Okoya and wife Walashade, Premier Lotto Boss, Sir Kessinti Adebutu and wife Kufu, former Governor of Ogun State, Aremu Ulushegun Shoba, former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Princess Sarah Shoson, businesswoman Haja Bola Shagaya, Erelu of Lagos, Abiola Tosumu, 
General Ikenwa Chikwan wife Gwen, Iyalode of Lagos, Haja Bin to Tunundu, Real Estate Guru Saulu Okewo and wife Lady Adejoke, Chairman and Vice Chairman of Channels Media Group Dr. John and Mrs. Chola Momo, Oil Magnate Mr. Boston Redola and wife Yenka, the wife of the Chairman of Doing Group Mrs. Tony Adedoyi, and the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Women Affairs Dr. Hajo Sani who represented the First Lady of Nigeria, Mrs. Haisha Buhari. Others include the Oba of Ikate Legushi, Oba Saeed Ademola Legushi, wives of the former governors of Lagos State, Mrs. Abimbola Fashola and Mrs. Bolanle Ambodi, the director of Bridge House College Ikui, Mrs. Foluke Abdurazak, the co founder of Access Bank, Aigboje Aiki Mokwede, and wife Ofowe, the wife of the director general of the Department of State Services, Mrs. Aisha Bichi Ibrahim, APC woman leader Chief Kemi Nelson, the wife of the former Oni of Ife. Oluri Ladu Nishijuwadi, Mrs. Inkiru Anumudu, as well as other very distinguished guests. Adorable, he's respectful, he's humble, he's very loving, he's very kind. He's just everything you will wish for in a father. He's a godly man, a man of the people, a man he will always wish to be a father. Just so good today is my dad, he's my father, and I'm very, very, very pleased. He um, took me under his wing from when I was very young, and he has taught me invaluable lessons. I think I can say that my formative years as a man were made more interesting, were made more meaningful by his impact. And then it was time to cut the cake. General Ike Wanchuku conducted the process.
The celebrant and his wife danced to the bandstand, where the great commander himself, Evangelist Ebenezer Obe, and his Maliki sound was on the roll. <laughs> Beneficiary of his forthrightness. Um, I took a case to court over my eligibility to record test in 2003. And, um, it did justice. <laughs>
the judge at this Shola, Ubuntade, friend to everybody, also the friend to the community. And then the toast to the well being of Cheers, the celebrants. Everybody. Cheers, my Lord. Now may we say for he is a good, good fellow, or a good father, friend and brother. And by the way, I said that later on. The celebrant took to the podium to soak in all the honors shown to him with the reciprocal recognition of his guests. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you sincerely. I wish you very well. In the name of Jesus, eternal happiness is yours. I will not have cause to regret your visit to this place today. Thank God has given me good health. God has given me my daily bread. That's enough. Justice. Adesh Fola Obunsade is my husband, the best husband in the world, most loving father, very good friend, my prayer partner, my comforter, my everything and everything. He is the best. I'm thanking God for sparing his life, for all the things. God has done for him in his old age, in his, I would say old age, yes, God has been good to him, elsewise, everything, I thank God for his life, he, we have our challenges, but then God has been wonderful, we have cause to thank God all the time for giving us good friends, good families, most especially friends that have turned to families that have been supportive. Ever since we started planning this thing about six weeks ago, my husband was not aware. He doesn't know where we were taking him to. He doesn't know nothing about nothing. He knew he was planning something, but for all he knows, I can be taking, taking him to McDonald's or um, Mr. Mr. Biggs or whatever. So when he got here this morning and he saw the thing, he was it was so, so happy. Justice George Oguntade was born in Ekbe, Lagos State, where he completed his basic formal education. He graduated from Holborn College of Law in 1964 after studying law before he proceeded to the Nigerian Law School in 1965 and was eventually called to the Nigerian Bar. As he celebrates, we wish him a happy birthday. Yes,